It is the second time this has happened. I have been halfway through filming a vlog and I come to realize that my camera has stopped recording. I am very upset. Face is red. My ass hurts. My back hurts. I just want to sleep and play video games. I gotta get this video done. Hey! Yo! So if you couldn't tell, I'm burnt. And if you couldn't tell why, I went to the beach. Twice. And so this episode of Getting Out is actually gonna span across like three days of footage. Two of those days being me going to Ali Beach Park in Haleiwa. And then another day being me going to town and just, you know, buying manga and shit. So on the first occasion of me going to the beach, I originally planned to be filming my sketch. Now what happened to that sketch? Shit happened. Now I'm just gonna talk about that sketch when that sketch actually comes out. So on the day that I eventually scrapped my sketch, I realized that it was actually a very beautiful and perfect beach day. So, you know, we fucking went. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them out to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks, and we would party. And, and like I said, Getting Out is gonna be introducing a lot more faces. You guys already know Austin, he's from the Japan vlogs and he's been my friend since freshman year. You'll get to know him a lot more later on in the episodes of Getting Out. <laughs> that is Christian. And if you're a smart kid like I know you are, you also understand that my name is also Christian. So yeah, it used to be very confusing for our friend groups, but we established with just going with our last names. Him being Mariog and me being Reyes. But since you guys know me as Reyes and Rikage, he's gonna be Christian. I'm part of the 447. <laughs> oh god. That's Alex. He's our resident black guy in our group. And the highlight of today's introduction goes to Bradley. That's a goal. That's a goal. Why are you still taking pictures of me, man? I'm taking video because they're walking. I am more than 100% sure this child is a love child of 4chan and Reddit. He is the definition of a fucking meme. I'm gonna set this straight. I know I'm fucking weird. And I know I have a lot of sex jokes. I have a lot of dick jokes. But this boy will change a conversation that's quite normal into a conversation where he is in your mom. No, you did not misunderstand. He is having intercourse with your mom. Now, if it wasn't obvious what you do at a beach, you swim. So, we swam. Now, like I said, there was rocks in the water. And obviously, there's sea urchins when there's rocks in the water. I fucking stepped on one. Uh, well, you know, even getting stung by a sea urchin, I am okay. It's not honestly just an urchin. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Right, there's a button it. with a red dot, yeah. Dude, I think it's fucking stuck. I can't like get it out. Fucking shit. <laughs> gonna see if walking on it. Really, you're gonna put it behind? Oh, okay. Can you remake the face that you made when you stepped on it? Why? For the camera? All I know is that one. Ah! Oh, <laughs> we saw that. I don't know. Was it more like. Oh. What was that again, Bradley? Can you do that again? No. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, the pain really wasn't that bad. Like, the pain only lasted for about 30 minutes. We got all the spines out, or at least all we could have gotten. And I mean, it's not poisonous, I think. I mean, I don't have any pain, and it's been about five days. And I mean, I've had bigger things inside of me. But. Now, we did do a lot more at the beach, and I would have loved to get a lot of Bradley shit on my camera. Just the thing is, is that I, my camera died. So, we're gonna move on to the next day. Last flow, I think I learned that with the last hoe. Forgot a name, that's the past though. When the teacher never had a lesson that I cared for. The preacher never had a God I was scared of. The people never had a place where they could share love. Look at the way I do it, I do it because I care, huh? So what you in the mood for, people? Least I could do is get food for the people. But like I said in my last video, I was gonna spend my Tuesday going out and filming getting out. 
And so I just went to Al Moana, which is pretty much just a mall. Uh, I really didn't get much footage at Al Moana. I mean, it's just a, it's a mall. So I mean, I guess you guys really don't need to see that. But I had a car cam. Okay, oh shit. This fucking works for now. Uh, let's see, can I put something over there? So hopefully that fucking works. If you guys don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh is, it's a it's a trading card game and it's very competitive. It has a lot. It's a very competitive uh, scene, even even to this day. Uh, with I think I, I I honestly don't know. Um, I don't even know what it's called now. Um, now, if you don't, the one thing you need to know about me is that I'm really fucking nerdy. Like, and and I took this nerdiness to the max. Like I made back before the Pokemon channel. If you guys watched my getting uh my getting out announcement vlog, that uh, before the before I even did Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, I did Yu-Gi-Oh and I did uh I did Yu-Gi-Oh trade binder videos. Yeah, I did that, and that was fairly. I actually that that channel had the most subscribers I ever had like ever on a YouTube channel. Like I think it was 150 subscribers, and it was literally it was just me. It was just my 12 year old ass saying, "What's up, guys? Uh, I have cards in a binder, and I'm gonna show it to you guys." And then essentially the trading community in Yu-Gi-Oh was that you'd show what you got in your book, and people would look through the video, and then. While they look through the video, if they find something they want, then well, they'll they'll p well, well you can't do it now, but they would PM you, and they would be like, hey, I want your card. Uh, I'll, I'll and then they'll offer you uh, whatever whatever you want because in the description you'll show what you want, and so you'd be like, hey, this is what I have, and in, in the description you'd be like, this is what I want. Uh, these are my needs. Um, if you guys have these cards because I'm building a deck, that would be nice. Uh, those are very high priority and all that kind of stuff and it's like you, you, you get very specific with this stuff and I was very much into that community and so I actually did that I, I, I traded on online like I would and then after you know you'd settle on a deal you'd uh you would oh <clears throat> sorry you would go and trade your cards and you'd and how you would trade it is that you would mail it actually like physically mail it you would exchange you would exchange addresses and mail your cards now that's not very safe honestly but the very the community was rather safe and I, I and my dad was very skeptical in the beginning but he, he he gave it a chance like the night after I told him about it he's like all right here you go uh, here's some stamps, here's some shit. Now if you're wondering why I went to Al Moana, well Al Moana has like the only bookstore there is and you know me, I'm a fucking nerd. So I went over there to get manga and you know, nerd shit. Now if you guys actually watched my announcement video of getting out, you guys know that this series actually had an origins of Pokemon Go. So I tried to hunt some Pokemon at Al Moana. Man, I am the fucking unluckiest motherfucker there is. Now you guys know that I'm not very rich, and so you're probably wondering how I got a fucking car mount for my DSLR camera. Well, I didn't. So for my ghetto ass car mount, I pretty much just put a microfiber towel on my dash and I placed my camera on it and then I propped a gum pack right under the lens so that it gets a little bit more leverage and I prayed to God it didn't move. And I mean it honestly worked pretty well, I mean you guys saw some pretty good footage and then I fucking slammed the brakes. Straight up sold all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, fucking damn it. Okay, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna call it a quit for now on this car cam. On to the next day. So like I said, I went to Ali'i Beach Park yet again with more people. Now the occasion for this outing was actually a get together for a club that I was formerly in. Did I participate? Yes, I actually competed in technical math for it. Did I pass? On to the next topic. Now I have a lot more friends that I want to introduce in getting out, but I'm gonna save them for later because I feel like they should get a little bit more footage. And a few of those people being Skylar and Tyler. All you need to know in this episode from them is that we are pretty in sync with our footwear knowing that, you know, we all got our slippers from the fucking Old Testament. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them out to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If 
never had it. Hundred fans, riding all the parents. Ain't nobody paying. I'll be buying the drinks, and we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to clouds. Yeah, I got you now. If I only had a hundred fans, life's too short to be an asshole. I think I learned that on my last flow. I think I learned that with the last hoe. Forgot a name, that's the past though. When the teacher never had a lesson that I cared for, the preacher never had.